good to have hobbies, that's for sure. It's very important in life, people. I've met older people on hikes. I've met young people. Sometimes the, the message and the word has been lost. If you guys have been wondering how I'm doing, I'm, I'm doing good. Doing good. Not gonna lie. Thank God, I woke up. I'm here. Things are getting back to normal here. I'm happy. The water's still flowing downstream. I'm happy. Or upstream. And that's another question, you know? I have to be uh, honest. I'm in this closed off area because they're repairing a bridge. But uh, I used to, I still know an acquaintance of mine. His name is Jerry. This used to be the campsite. Since they locked off the perimeters and nobody can actually get to this territory, the beavers have been rejuvenating quite nicely. Uh, their dam is actually right next to me. left a long time ago here at the campsite was Mary as you see behind me uh, we left her for good luck to protect the territory and this is actually uh, the place where I seen deer my first time baby fawns not my like my first time ever seeing deer but like face to face eye to eye in this territory I also placed uh, salt blocks for the deer. So they come around, drop them some uh, apples. There's an apple tree nearby. And then there's a beautiful tree that is uh, very low to the ground. So they have a nice place to hide just in case coyotes roll up. You know, nighttime activity. Try not to snooze or you will lose. Just be happy, be grateful, and do whatever you like. I've realized in life, you know, we could do whatever we want. A lot of folks are, you know, doubting that uh, the stream won't pop off or whatever you're doing won't pop off. It takes a little while, you know, before it pops off. Hard work and dedication, you know, just like Floyd Mayweather told you. Even if it doesn't work out, so what? At least I left a little journal, I guess, behind. A digital MP3 journal. You know, gotta be a good person. Gotta do your duties. And a bigger energy brought me out here, bigger than me, so. show you guys so as we're at this water or close to the water what I was talking about before when the beavers used to really be in full tact you have these you have these trails right here so let me show you right here for example see this almost like a digged out trench going amongst here going amongst here and in this trench keeps going right 
and it leads back to the water. So for example, right here, see the beaver comes up, used to have these tunnel systems, they chop up the little wood and they feel much more secure. Underneath these rocks here, not underneath but just behind it, that's where the beaver den is. Very nice and secure and hidden. If you guys could see, it is raining a little bit. Probably not good for the camera, but we're still here. I'm gonna go to another location. See if I could uh, see if I could spot the blue heron out here. Definitely love doing this. It's my thing. So. For anybody over there who don't got a thing, you know, I guess, you know, if you want to chill with your girlfriend all the time and, you know, do the do's, there's nothing wrong with that, but you got to open up your third eye, people. Hello, folks. Welcome back. I just missed the blue heron. Literally. Like I said, this is nature. So as soon as I came, he was gone. Just wanted to mention one more thing here. So on my hat, just want to actually ask you viewer something. So on my hat, if you notice, it says spirit. So that being said, question for you folks. So when you go to LCBO, where the Alku demon is. What do you folks happen to see or happen to notice? That you're probably in an aisle called spirits. Why? Because it gets rid of your spirit. When you're under the influence of anything, including caffeine, you're altering the state of your mind. You hear that, folks? You're not the same. So today, also came to a big realization. The poison is always gonna be here to poison us. It's here to stay. But it is our choice of what we want to do. That being said, I came to a realization where I no longer want to participate in the devilish activities. Although that sometimes, you know, people do that to get things off their mind, but does it really get things off your mind? Or you're right back to that situation? Yes, most likely so. This goes also for people, you know. You cannot tell me that people smoke just because they smoke. They smoke because stressed out things are going through their head basically the main goal is to live in the future not the past stay in the present not the past so whatever is bothering you about the past you have to be able to get that out of your mind not by enduring into more stupid activity but cleansing your body so it's very relaxing I must say for all the people that are jealous out there and whatnot what I suggest is to pick up a book maybe read something um, there's many different techniques different things that our ancestors passed on the knowledge for us to use today. Fortunately, going back to, so going back to that elderly lady that was taking the fruit from nature and eating it, I also believe that for us to have a longevity such as her, God bless her, 
we have to eat natural things. I strongly believe that our lifespan is going to be cut in half. Oh, Falcon. Wow. Did you see that? Falcon right there, right above me. Got a good eye for this stuff, so that's, you know, what I like to do. Maybe 2020 vision. I don't know. I, I think I'm pretty blind, you know, but when I'm out here, it uh, helps me out, right? And one more thing, now that it's starting to rain. So about the chemtrails and all that stuff. Right now, as I pulled out my camera to record again, I have, I have this grim on the screen. It's almost like when you come out out of a rainy day and you look at your car and it's got all these streaks on it. You could call it acid rain. Well, yeah, it is acid rain, which is raining on me right now, but there is more into it. When they spray that stuff in the sky and it comes down, not only that it's affecting us, but it's affecting the crops. I happen to notice that the animals are much more resilient than us. Introduction, however they do it, senses. And then right then, right then and then, it's get busy time. Because love is love, that's for sure. And it's not going to last forever, but you have to create it. We'll always be here, but you have to work around it, you know. A big lesson that, you know, we need to protect our women. We need to respect our women. We need to be gentle with them. We need to be kind. Although that sometimes they might freak out or whatnot, we are the rock. So... For example, we are the rock, and we're supposed to be the rock. Stay nice and calm, relax, breathe, take your deep breaths, do your meditation, and calmly, calmly listen, analyze and come to a conclusion if it was even worth it. My thing is, I know myself, like I said before, so my reaction time, very quick, and sometimes also the tongue, very quick to say something stupid. I've realized, realized a lot of things. And I'll continue to strive and try to be the best me. I hope that all you viewers and people watching, you could do the same. And like that neo-surgeon or whatever, uh, Doobie and Boogie or something like that on, on YouTube. Shout out to you. But just one thing I wanted to add to your whole uh, persona. It doesn't matter even if you're a a surgeon or a construction worker or a garbage service management person. Either way, a lot of these jobs do not have purpose. The purpose is for the other guy on the other side making sure that you're working so he doesn't have to. And as well as that inside your corporations or your facilities, you really don't see the big wigs come around that much. How come? It's because if they really seen what you guys were doing, they'll probably feel bad. So it's best not to even look, let you slave away, let you do your thing, provide for your family always, very important. But what if we just stopped paying taxes and we just went back to nature, just start building? What would they do to all of us? Absolutely nothing. So never forget that, folks. We have opportunities. We have many, many avenues of, of, of life and different things, how to do things. When it comes down to me making a channel at this point in my life, I feel much more wiser these days. 
I couldn't really can't see myself really be 21 talking to you guys about what you know unless I'm doing a whole bunch of stupid shit you know excuse my language you know for the viewers I try not to use too much uh, profanity when I speak because I know that not only that I have the viewers but also probably some of my family's watching the haters the jealous people all kinds of stuff but Instead of doing that, we need to work with one another, not work against each other. Does that make sense? I mean, it makes sense to me, but like I said, keep your circle tight. Keep yourself circle small. Not everybody's your friend. And a lot of people just talk. And I'm about a man of my actions. So, although that I might have said a lot of stupid things, don't you can never say that I did people wrong or I snaked them. Or anything like that because that's just not in my character you know some people go around doing that but me I just stay humble in my place if it doesn't work it doesn't work you know look at don't look at it as a loss look at it as a lesson now you're a better person on the other side much stronger more efficient but anyway folk much love and appreciation Sometimes, you know, you could say I uh, sometimes don't want to be a people's person just because I have a lot of uh, family that are gone. My closest friends that I would like to actually show them this stuff today and speak about different ideas and try to elevate myself. I wish that I could talk to them. But I do, I do talk to them. They're actually guiding me in my head, telling me, good job, Claude. Good job. And I'm sure that some are not happy for what I'm doing, but hey, to each his own. I can't be a, pe I can't be a people pleaser. I can't satisfy everybody. Either you like it or you don't, so. And don't be spiteful either, because karma is real. It will come and bite you. So, you know, I could have went different ways about making my videos, but it's no need to be spiteful, you know? Subliminal messages and this and that. I don't have room for that. It's all about positivity, love, strength, and power, and nature. And the most important, almighty God. So thank you, people. I often don't really even want to record. But always something brings me back, you know. I don't want you guys to think, you know, because I'm not recording, I fell off or something like that. Because that's far from reality. Right now I'm working on a little bit something else behind the scene. I'm not going to expose it just yet but some great big 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 things are coming big things are coming especially now that I'm going to disconnect myself from the masses travel my own journey it's looking brighter every day and shout out to Toronto conservation areas I'm coming, coming soon. You guys are giving me an opportunity to uh, volunteer. And I just had the muskrat just come right by me. I wonder what he's doing. Wow. So much love. I might go right now, chase that brother down, see what's going on. Show you guys, little muskrat. Peace.
So these little things that grow next to fresh water. So what this could be used for, it's called cat's tail or redominance. Is in fresh water, two to five inches. Grows six to 15 feet tall. It's dark brown, sausage shaped, rock wood stems. Can be eaten raw or boiled. Mix pollen and water to make dough. Bake or cook on the end of the stick. Magnificent. See? And just like that, God leaves us with all these beautiful things for us to really start paying attention to what we're eating. Welcome to Coyote Country, which is Canada or Arizona, wherever you want to place it. I'm here at the Beaver's Den. If you notice, I uh, had a little clip of him coming by me, or her, I think it's she. Um, Fish are jumping, crackheads are making noise in the forest. I'm here by the green belt system. The ones that, you know, Doug Ford wanted to build houses near. He's kind of weird. Just to let you people know of how many herbs, everything that God has provided us. Even uh, right here, the crab apple. Very bitter, eating too many causes diarrhea. Best cook with other fruit. All these crab apples, everything that you see in nature. Everything that you see in nature could be used. Everything. But instead, you know, we're chasing that money, going down to the store, buying that fake food. I mean, we all have choices, right? We all have choices. Anywhere from oils to mushrooms, everything, everything. We could refine it, reuse it. So anyway, since you guys, uh, so behind me, behind me, directly behind me, underneath those shrubs right there, right exactly among this area here, that's where the beaver stays. We used to call him Justin back in the day, but I figure out that it's mom. About two years ago, she had two babies that I think one of them here stayed. So the beautiful part about this area here is how they're chopping down the trees. They're trying to rework this area because if you go around anywhere from left to right you'll start seeing these trenches these trenches going through and then that's where the water used to sit much higher than this and they used to have they have this secret passage system that they go through which is magnificent and keeps some um, undetected from coyotes and other predators another beautiful thing just before I seen the beaver there's also a muskrat living in here. He's, uh, I think, on the, on this side, more on this side, somewhere in the bank. So it, it's funny how the muskrat and the beavers they they work together, you know. Um, so the beaver chops down the wood. He likes to have the bark, while the muskrat eats all the leaves and all the plants from it. It's, it's a it's a magnificent, magnificent ecosystem. I have the clip of the beaver, but I might have scared him. He did his little splash. It takes quite some time to build a, a nice relationship with them. As I was coming up to this green belt system, if you know when you spend a lot of time in nature or just try to go out of your, you know, house, what you start to see is, uh, a lot of homeless, a lot of homeless living in these bushes. So sometimes when I'm 
doing my thing and I'm exploring, absorbing, trying to learn as much about nature as I can. They stared up all night, sleep all day, probably smoking that meth, doing some of the Kriznak. It's crazy. Addictions, people, addictions. But you could be addicted to food, you could be addicted to a lot of things. You could be addicted to chocolate, you could be addicted to cigarettes, you could be addicted to alcohol. It's a lot of things. It's, we have to. And it's hard, and it's hard, right? Everybody wants to take the edge off every now and then. But the key point of it is, is that we have to live like Jesus. We have to live with God and take the examples that he has provided us, you know, not to be like that, you know. My friend brought a good point yesterday. Um, some of my, some of my friends, they're, parents you know they're obviously having a hard time in this era and you know he described to me how every time he tries to you know tell pops to you know slow down on what he's doing he never listens so just think about think about that for a second if you have your own family member and you're worried about them and they're not willing to change and you live with them every day, you're seeing it, how many of us is actually going to change? Not many. As far as I'm a man of truth, I'm the man of realism, if, if that's a word. but. I strive to be the best me and sometimes educate people, but obviously, you know, the truth hurts. So sometimes I'm unable to penetrate through the wordplay. And Beaver's probably sleeping now, right? Well, viewers, I hope that you're having a great time out there. Came greened out so I could blend in with the nature, how I like it. My favorite color, green. Go outside, all I see is green. Now that uh, fall is here, everything is slowly starting to die. So, source your, um, source everything that you, that you need for the winter. So we even have poisonous plants category. But if you notice, this is all labeled in these books as food. So food provided by God. Yesterday was very inspiring. I was walking amongst, uh, doing a little hike, and I seen this elderly woman, probably in her 90s, with a cane. Um, she was having, a, she does have a hard time uh, walking, so it's it's good, you know. People in the neighborhood, we keep an eye on her. But uh, as I was on my hike, I seen her. And she's by a wild grapevine, and she's picking and eating at them, you know. And it reminds me a lot of my grandma back home. Um, my grandma would uh, find a mushroom somewhere on the yard. I mean, I don't know if it's necessarily a good thing, but uh, maybe she does have some kind of knowledge. You know, obviously, 86 compared to us young people, you know, that's a lot of wisdom. And she would eat... Uh, a mushroom right raw raw and raw by the way is the best way to go you know raw raw food everything raw just the way that it came by god not you know when you start cooking things and 
putting all kinds of oils in it you're changing the chemistry of the food so this is why it's it becomes almost poisonous for our body we're not really supposed to be uh, doing that gotta love some of the old some of the older style countries that still live kind of prehistoric but that's how you survive into 96 really this new way of living is is not a good way of living so much genetically modified food and stuff like that you know gotta stick to uh, what came from nature that was brought here by God once again hate to stress that you know but it's the truth um, just like the beaver and the muskrat they don't go around eating bread that you left around or the half a bag of chips that you couldn't finish they, they don't even they don't they just go away they look at it they could smell it the senses are incredible speaking of the coyotes when I had the coyotes uh, I had a good relationship with them it's about three of them I think it was a mom and two of her young ones at a certain point where I connected I guess you know everybody has that musk to them or a scent you know everybody's got their scent so they used to actually I used to get in my car closer to about nine, 10 o'clock and stuff leaving the area and what they would do is actually follow me they would run after the car all the way to, to my house crazy experience crazy experience I must say one of a kind one of a kind in a lifetime I, I never actually would have thought that I could get so close with that with them treating me as basically like like a one of them like I'm part of the pack very beautiful very majestic creatures uh, for you people out there shooting them I, I don't know man you're gonna have to live with that karma that's your karma after you're you're gone when you reach Pregatory or whatever that uh, place is before heaven. And yeah, like I said, you know, the beavers, they, they, don't, they don't bother with all that other stuff. They stick to nature, stick to their bark. Right now, is the, it's kind of a stress season. So as everything is uh, dying out, they're ch chopping it up, making sure that they have enough food to survive for those crucial three months um, actually even probably even four months until April once April comes along but another thing you do see them active in the winter they will pop out they will pop out they they feel much more secure they basically would just swim underneath the ice but uh, they do need to come out and they, they come out This would probably be the last time I record at this location, just because I kind of just want to leave them alone. I want to let them do their thing, you know? We don't need that human activity. We already have too much human activity. Just took over, took over. So just stuff out like Canada, it's got like 38 million people. Alone in Ontario, there's about 14 million. And then not to mention all the homeless, that's probably not even counted. It's crazy out here, it's crazy, I must say. I'm loving the area, I'm loving right now, the little fish jumping. There's also behind, a, or behind, not behind me, but behind the camera. Oh, there's usually a spot where a blue heron will land kind of just sit there he's a little bit more aggressive I know another blue heron that's a little bit more domesticated he's uh, behind a pond he's a little bit more chill you can come up to him take some pictures some of these guys here in the wild though they don't they don't joke around they don't play they think that I'm a predator or something like that maybe a coyote pulling up on them so I understand I understand you have to be stealth green and you kind of have to be sneaky, you're going to have to sneak up on them a little bit. If you do get a chance though, you know, it's, it's beautiful, it's beautiful. 
and just for the record for the people out there, you know, you can't like one animal more than the other. Meaning that like when Noah, when the flood happened and he had Noah's Ark, he didn't just bring one, two animals, he brought all the animals. So, please respect nature because nature provides us with life. Rain probably later on today, but that's also beautiful. It's just the sounds of the rain, you know, people have those five to ten hour recordings of water flowing for you people out there to have a nice smooth sleep. What I've also realized is that a lot of people actually, a lot of people need um, some kind of noise in the background, something to sleep with or some kind of fan running. For me, I like it quiet, quiet, like nothing's around, you know. This is where you actually get to really uh, start breathing the air and, and the good thoughts or the proper thoughts that you're supposed to be thinking come to your head, you know. There's a lot of negativity out there. There's a lot of jealousy out there too. Believe it or not, I can't express to you that uh, some people behind the scene, they really hate that I'm doing this. I tell you. Not because I'm doing it, it's because they don't do it or they can't do it. But the main thing is, is for you to people to try. That's the key word, is trying. We are afraid of different things in life, but if you just try, the fear will go away. This book is pretty interesting. It even shows you different type of clouds. Amazing, look. Different type of clouds, what's fake and what's not. So people, don't you kid yourself, they are spraying things in the air. The heavy metals are coming down as it rains and it affects us, affects our mood, affects how we feel. Everything, we're not supposed to be. Listen, I don't really know what the agenda is. I know the agenda, well, the agenda is that we're not that important to the one percenters. You know, you guys, we all chasing the money, money, money. But never forget, money makes money. So all that stuff that you're shoving in your pocket, that's all just dead money. That's money that's just been printed just to shut you up. So you can go about your life and eat the garbage. Or if you want to be truthful to yourself and your body, you eat alkaline. I never, well, in the past, you know, it's obviously it's a learning experience so we learn as we go don't get it twisted I used to eat a lot of that garbage stuff as well the chips and the that and the this but I start realizing that I not performing at the highest level that I could be performing right Shout out to John Lofty, the wise man. John Lofty, the wise man. And the survival. The ultimate guide of surviving anywhere. Even if you're choking, he even shows you to lean on some wood to help you out if you don't have assistance. It's beautiful, I must say. How to create a slint.
out of nature. Amazing. Can't get enough of this book, I'll be honest. I'm probably just going to sit here for a half an hour, 45 minutes and do some reading. Educate myself, so maybe when I come across it here in nature, I could source it. One of my favorite things to do definitely around this season, and just even during summer, is collecting tea. The Marlins leaf, the milk thistles, and many, many others. Uh, if you guys read about it, there has health properties and different things that can help our body heal. Especially now and before we approach 2030, where the universal income is going to kick in. It's a very interesting time. Got to live it to the limit. Oh, speaking of the Marlins leaf right here. Great Marlin, which looks like this. Number nine. Just this guy right here. That right here, you drink that in a tea, and it cleanses your whole lungs inside and out. Matter of fact, let's just say it's a myth, which is not. I knew this, well, I should, I know this person, and the individual's dog was having a, like a fever, some kind of cold, chest infection. So they chopped up the Marlin's leaf, boiled it, cooled down the water, let the dog drink it, and within a couple of days, the dog was ready, bounced back, ready to go. So that's... To me, that that was the ultimate right there. When I everything that God has provided us will heal you or your animal that you love. So never forget that. Never forget that. Truly, truly. And God bless all you people. Always believe. Or some of you do believe, but you choose to believe what you want to believe, meaning, what I mean by that is selective hearing. You just take in whatever you want to hear and throw out all the other stuff out. Which is cool, but it's not a way to go about it, you know? A fact is a fact. The truth is the truth. And a lie is a lie. When we go through experiences of life, a lot of people, they, they become bitter. And I think that's where all the, the negative nonsense comes in. There are, no needs, there are no need to be bitter. There's no need to be bitter. What we have to do is learn from our mistakes. In the end, for all the mistakes that I've done, Mostly was verbal, meaning that I say something and the other person has the selective hearing, takes it the wrong way, and then, you know, things kind of go south. But it's such a small, minuscule thing where, again, are, am I willing to change? Am I, am I willing to compromise from being true to myself some of you people, you don't know who you are. Sorry, it's a fact. You work for 30 years and you're pretty much embedded into that company. So that's all you know is whatever's going on in that company. And then it's like a revolving door. You're just running circles, going in and out, going back in and out. Even, even the beaver doesn't move the same. If I come here every day and I just absorb what he or she is doing it is not going to be the same pattern they do have their walks of life as I like to call it but they switch it up they have to switch it up they have to stay sharp like a blade this is nature this is the wild anything can happen like speaking of now that I'm looking at this camera and the beaver well me and the beaver we have a good relationship like I said but if you really wanted to come out this water and chop me down, you know, because I'm right next to it. I'm right next to the water. Hear that? Right next to the water. I'm sitting right next to the water. 
He wants to come over here and he doesn't like me being in his territory. Guess what, man? He's coming after me. So, for example, because this one here is close to the city, he's trying to fix up some of the city habitat that we constantly keep, you know, throwing garbage and, excuse my language, shitting on it. I, I, I recall a time about five years ago or four years ago, when I got an opportunity from a person who was kind enough to show me a beautiful den, huge, ginormous, in Georgetown, in the Hampton Hills. Wow. That's all I could say. Wow. Basically, we're with a dog. The beavers sensed danger. And I had two beavers coming out the water trying to literally get me. Grabbed my camera and I boogied out of there. Simple. Simple and plain. Don't mess around. If they could chop up a piece of wood, what would they do to my leg? Or my arm? It would just be like a snack. Snack attack. Much love. Much appreciation. Take care of yourself. Take care of one another. And take care of nature take care of the animals. Bye. So let me show you guys a little example. As I travel through the forest, or wherever I am, it's a pretty serious situation. Let's take a look.